What's good? It's King C's back with another video. I'm finna be talking about what if African people don't accept me as an African when I go to Africa? I be telling people that I'm cool with, that I'm close to, friends, family, that I'm going to Africa. And I try to explain why I'm interested in going to Africa. I tell them I'm learning about my ancestors. I want to know where I came from. I want to go invest in Africa. That's where I came from. I got more ability to do good out there than I will do in America. You know what they tell me? They tell me, why don't you just watch it on YouTube? What question do you have? And, well, you know them Africans don't really look at you like you African they just think you American and this is what I tell them I don't give a fuck what an African thinks right I don't need an African to accept me as African because what I'm doing I'm not doing it to try to get approval from other Africans right I don't do anything I do to get approval from Americans I do what I do to get approval from the most high Yahweh all right and I'm saying this like I'm joking but I'm so serious this stuff that I'm doing is coming from my spirit I'm being called to do it I know a lot of people don't think the way that I think they don't see what I see so it is my duty to do the things that I'm planning to do. It's my calling. I'm being called to do it, so I must obey that calling. You know what I'm saying? And it's not for me to try to, oh, yeah, I'm going to feel like I'm, I want y'all to feel like I'm one of y'all. You know, I want to, no. Nah. Because this, the truth is this, right? We've been attacked. We've been colonized. We've been taken as slaves. We've been confused, right, by design. So everybody is struggling from some type of ignorance. So even if Africans don't see me as an African or a real African or whatever first of all they got that right you know everybody entitled to their opinion they have went through a struggle that I don't relate to you know what I'm saying and same with me but at the end of the day DNA is DNA DNA is facts you can't argue against it motherfucker I'm African it's just facts all right but it's gonna come down to like I said in the previous video communication and education because it's just simply ignorance so People just got the idea of when I say I'm going back to Africa, um, America is not our home. It'll never be equal, so-called equal and, and fair for us in America when it comes to, you know, trying to have a fair life with the white people and other, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, that's, that's facts. But beyond that, it's not like me trying to escape that, go to Africa and feel like everybody going to treat me like I'm one of them. I don't know if they is or they ain't, but what I'm saying is it don't matter because that's not really why I'm going to Africa. Like, yes, it'd feel good to not be the only black person when I go into a certain store or something like that or be looked at like, you know you black, don't you? Mm -hmm. And then experience some racist shit every now and then that, that basically confirms that I'm the only black motherfucker over here. You know what I'm saying? That's a little weird shit that I do want to get away from. But I'm really going to Africa because I'm being called to go to Africa to learn and also to give whatever I can give, you know, to be used by the most high. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, not a lot of people, black people in America is open to this idea. A lot of people, they won't even fathom the thought. <laughs> To not only even visit Africa, but they don't see themselves as African. So it, it's like the last thing that's probably on their mind. Yeah, to me, that's unfortunate. So, I mean, if I'm being called to do that, then I just got to do that. You know what I'm saying? And again, it's not for me to try to get approval from anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's really for me to just obey, to be obedient. And that's what it is. And I hope to help. You know, I hope to educate. I hope to inspire. That's why I'm doing it for myself to educate to inspire and to affect some change and to kind of just like put something out into the universe like and be some type of light to spread my light and hopefully when i spread my light other people can spread their light from there that's what inspiration is for me that's even why i'm creating videos that's what i want to do for me but really i'm not trying to even be approval to myself because i let myself down every day if i'm being totally honest with you but i don't want my life to be lived in vain or not lived you know what i'm saying people can be in america this freaking land of opportunity and really not be living you know what i'm saying so i believe that living is you having an awareness and you can listen to a calling and when you are called when you feel the inclination to move to go to do a certain thing 
you do that and then you see the results from it whether positive or negative because even if it's a negative result it's something that you can learn from and then just keep going from that i feel like that's what living is man a lot of people are scared to live a lot of people they give into anxieties and stuff like that and that's because in my opinion they don't have faith they don't really believe in god even if they say they do i literally believe in god i never feel like i'm alone you know i'm always feeling like lonely but i know that god is always with me you no know, i know that anything that god don't want to happen to me is not gonna happen to me you know what i'm saying so that's why i can move in certain ways i can move accordingly to faith because i actually have faith i actually believe in god i believe in a lot of invisible stuff you know, I believe more in visible stuff than I believe in the physical stuff. Like if I see in the clouds split and a big ass UFO come and another planet start coming from the other side, I ain't going to be surprised <laughs> because I'm like, well, I mean, this shit was written. It was thought up. Now, look, like, look, my mind is kind of like <sighs> because I think it's like that because I know that I don't know so much that anything could be possible. And I believe in God because I'm proved time and time again that every time it seemed like the worst could happen it was always like some type of blessing or some type of miracle that kept me along my path like no matter what whatever type of hardship or pain i went through if you look at me right now do i look like i'm going through any type of hardship or pain you know what i'm saying that's how i'm like everything is gonna always be okay you know what i'm saying and life is about the highs and the lows together so i mean i'm able to accept these things it's that kind of leads to me being able to have a strong sense of faith and belief and the creator but i mean that's what i would say that's my message to people like why you going to africa what if something bad happened what if it don't turn out the way you want to turn out it probably ain't gonna turn out the way i want i mean that's light but i'm just being obedient to my calling all right that being said i'm king c is this your first time here make sure you subscribe get a video thumbs up on the way out and i'll see you next time peace Thank you.